It's me, Nikayla, Queen Nikayla, and on today's video, I'm going to be talking about my summer semester of cosmetology school. Yes, I know I was doing monthly vlogs, but then summer semester, we're going to get into that. So, in the middle of summer semester, I just decided that I was just going to make a whole vlog about summer semester since it happened so quickly. And BT dubs, I look ugly right now. I know. I was standing outside for a while because... I was trying to look at the solar eclipse, which I did, and I'm tired, and I'm hot, so, and my face might look a little sweaty, but ignore that. So if you don't know, you guys, my name's Nikayla. I am in cosmetology school. I started, I was about to say September, that's wrong. I started cosmetology school January of 2017, and I'll be done in May of 2018, and I can't believe it because it's so soon, but... I am in my third semester of cosmetology school, so technically, I guess you could say I'm a junior. Technically, I'm a junior. I'm in my third semester, and yeah. Um, I like to do hair. I think you should know that if you've been a follower of my channel for a while. If you haven't, just watch my old videos. That's what my main, that's what my channel is about. It started with hair. Am I talking too much? Maybe I'm talking too much. <laughs> if you haven't watched, watch my other cosmetology vlog videos about how I felt about my first semester in cosmetology school. It was an up and down roller coaster. And now I'm going to talk about my second semester in cosmetology school, which was during the summer. My second semester of cosmetology school, I'm just having these two up. My second semester of cosmetology school was, <sighs> I did not like it. First of all, the first reason why I did not like it was because it happened so fast. It was a whole lot of work to do in just 10 weeks. Our normal semester is 15 weeks, but since it's summer, we had 10 week semesters. So it was a lot of work to do in just 10 weeks. If you looked at one of my vlogs, my, my I think my last Queenly Chronicles, I've talked about how I had task sheets to do and how stressed I was. Like, if you look, go go ahead, it's in the cards. Go ahead and look at that because that is the epitome of how I felt at the end and how I felt the whole semester. Honestly, I wasn't stressed out the whole semester, but most of the semester I just was frustrated because I was just not like, I wasn't feeling it. The second reason I did not like summer semester was of what we were studying. I did not come to cosmetology school for nails or skin. I, did, I knew like nails was like a part of it, but I just didn't know you get that in depth in it. And also with skin, I did not know you could be like a cosmetologist and do facials and things. So I learned how to do facials this last semester, but it was not what I came here for. I definitely didn't come there for nails. So I was just like over it. I was just like, I'm just ready for my fall semester. I could deal with skin. Now let me start with skin first. Now, no, no, no. We're going to start with the thing that I did not like the most, which was nails. So, as you can see, I hardly have any nails. And I haven't put acrylic on in a while because my birthday is coming up. If you don't know, I, I think I mentioned this in like a different video. But <laughs> my birthday is coming up, so I'm going to wait till then to get my nails done. But anyway, that's besides the point. I don't have any nails. And I just do not like doing nails. I've never... Well, I've... I just don't like doing nails. Let's just say that I don't like doing nails. Like I can even sit all day and get my nails done, but actually doing them, I ain't got time to doing anybody nails. Like I blame, I slick blame it on my mama because when I was younger, I used to have loved to play with nail polish, and I played around too much with it, and I did not polish my nails with that. I didn't polish like furniture and things with it. So your mom took it away. And then ever since then, I just don't paint my nails. I mean, polish my nails. You don't paint nails. You polish them. You paint houses, not paint your nails. Anyway, like the first thing that we learned in our, my nail class was how to do a manicure. And that was simple, very simple. But my thing was, is that I don't know how to polish nails too awesomely because my nail like it was just looked terrible it was terrible it did not look cute like it wasn't cute so that was just frustrating and then on after that 
Well, I did learn how to do with my nail class. I did learn how to do add on a massage. That's like, what is it called? A spa manicure. Spa manicure, I did learn how to do a massage. I'll give a hand arm massage. And all my coworkers have gotten a hand arm massage from me. And they said it feels real good. So that was like a good thing that I really learned how to do and can do it. But I can do a manicure, but just the polishing. Y'all, I'm serious. Like, I just don't know how to do it. It looks like a straight mess when I try to polish some nails. But also, we learned in that class pedicures which is basically about the same thing as a manicure, except you have to like scrub the feet and spa manicures, which just adds a massage onto that. And we learned how to do acrylic. And that is another thing that I did not like. Like, I just couldn't get powder to liquid ratio because like my, like when I form a bead, put it on the um the nail or if I'm doing consistency consistency sheets which I'll explain in a second if I do any of that like it would just spread and also we did use odorless monomer because in state board well one odorless monomer and all of us doing nails if we use regular monomer which is the liquid part if you don't know if we use regular monomer and this was like 35 people in a class and then the other class, right connected to ours, it was like 10 more people. If you use regular monomer, I can't, I just have said that like 50 times. If you use regular monomer with that many people, you know how much that room would be stinking, how much of a headache I would get? So I learned how to do acrylic nails. Do I know how to do them well? No. Because it just wasn't my, what I was invested in. Like I just wasn't invested in it like at all. So I just didn't like it. And I swear my people that were around me were probably like, I'm tired of hearing this girl complain. Because every day I would come in there and be like, I'm over it. I can't do it. Cause oh my gosh, I do not like doing nails. And then the acrylic made it worse. Like, oh. So I just did not like doing nails. I did not like doing nails. I didn't and the acrylic just mm -mm. and we had to do free form acrylics too that's just when you put the full you don't add a tip you put like the full not the maker form the form underneath a nail and then you like add acrylic on top of it to make a nail without adding a tip those were okay I got it towards the end but I didn't get it like I'm not doing nails I am not doing nails mark my words right here I am not going to no salon to do no nails so let's go move on to skin because I don't think there's anything else to talk about with nails with skin the first thing we learned about we learned about like different skin disorders and things but I'm sure y'all don't want to hear about that what we did learn about was like how to do a facial which I did not know you do when you're in cosmetology school or like that you can actually offer that on a list of um, services I didn't know that's what cosmetologists do but with facials we learn had to learn the different steps and pH balances why you have to put on toner and before you moisturize and da 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 da, -da why you have to moisturize because it knocks your pH back down anyway so we learned the different steps we learned like the different movements to put on the facial things while you're performing a service on a client and what else did we do we learned how to apply makeup one of my classmates worked at sephora or works at sephora and she taught us like how to apply makeup properly and things and y'all we had to do so many sign offs of makeup and I was like, asked one of my classmates, she was not my color. She was white. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, this will be easy in my head. But me, as you can see, I don't wear makeup. Like, I didn't put makeup on for this video. I wear makeup, but it's not elaborate. Most people cannot tell that I have on makeup when I do. Like, it's nothing. It's just like adds a little extra. It evens out my skin tone. I get some eyebrows. And... 
I'm good to go. I was like, oh, I can do this girl makeup. But I don't know how to do eyeshadow, y'all, like at all. It, I, I don't practice on myself because I have a hooded eye. So it just, I just don't do it. And I practice on the girl, like I said. And it was terrible. Well, one is because she did not have a lot of makeup. Like she did not have any primer. She didn't have any moisturizer. So that just made her makeup look real streaky and I swear that her makeup was not her shade because it just did not look cute like her makeup looked so streaky and she looked like a ghost because I was I didn't know what I was doing I, I didn't know really what I was doing like, <laughs> but I did like some other people's makeup like I did my um some of my classmates like well one of my classmates I did two I think classmates and I could perform makeup on my mannequins but on once actually you don't have to do two, I think. I don't remember. But I know I did another girl's makeup. And I think I did pretty good on that. But again, makeup is not my forte. So I'm not going to offer that. I, that's not going to be something that I do in the, out in the beauty world. I'm doing hair. <laughs> but we're not talking about hair. Also with skin, we did um, waxing. Yeah. We did waxing, which I liked. I like doing waxing. And you know, the good thing about having cosmetology is that you get things for free. Like the whole summer, even right now, now my eyebrows just grown back. But the whole summer, I did not have to pay to get my eyebrows done because people were doing them for me. Also, I never had to pay for a pedicure because people were doing that for me during the summer. So, we learned how to wax. Which is very simple. The only thing that I see like people messing up on when people wax is like not, it's like putting too much wax on somebody's eye. And that's why under, the only reason why I see why people would mess up with eyebrows is if you put too much wax right there. But I don't see how people mess up. Like it's simple. So our main things to learn was eyebrows, upper lip, and chin. But then after everybody was getting those done we ran out of things like we ran out of faces to wax so we started waxing like knuckles arms legs like only got one leg wax one day and my hair like I, my hair you can hardly see it when it does grow like unless you really look close but i never shave my legs that might be nasty to some people but i just don't um, so only got one leg waxed one day and I never wet like shaved the other one or anything So I was walking around with one wax leg, but you couldn't even tell because like I said my my um hair doesn't like Come in thick or anything. So you can't really tell if my legs are shaved or not. So yeah, that's what we did in in um in skin I'm, Did I miss anything? We did red light and blue light therapy to help acne or scarring or anything like that. One day, um, during the summer, we had a spa day where we like transformed the whole department to a spa. And all day we were just doing get tashy stuff. We were making masks and like homemade masks, DIY masks, drinking smoothies. We brought in food and all day we just were, was like, giving each other pedicures, massages, well not massages, but we're just giving each other pedicures, manicures, facials, all that stuff. That's all we did that day and to get sign offs. But so I know that I did not, like we had to do a mock state board for our final exam, which we just did like the last two sections of it, which was skin and nails. So with the skin part of the Georgia state board state board cosmetology licensing thing um you have to do a facial so you have to have your mannequin your turban all your bottles lined up with things in it and you have to give your mannequin a facial i felt like i was confident in it but i don't think i did awesome and i still haven't looked at my grade for like class either class but i know i did good like, I know I didn't fail. I know I'm far from failing. So, I know I either got B or A. But I just, I just don't like looking at grades. It's just something in me that just won't do it. Like, I just don't. Like, I wasn't even going to look at my grades last semester until I just knew I had did good. Because I got on the D's list. 
not last semester spring semester but anyway on to summer semester um so I feel like I didn't do good on that part like I know I did everything right but I feel like I was doing stuff messily and then I got points count off one that's what I think but who knows on to the nail part like the day before like two days before something like that we had did a practice on like doing one nail because at the state board you have to just do one nail and they tell you which nail you have to do so you only do one nail and then you put a you do free form acrylic on the nail so you have to put a form on and da 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 and you only have like i forgot how long you have but it's a short amount of time because like i said way earlier odorless monomer i don't know if i actually said that. i just was talking about how how monomer stinks but we have to use odorless monomer at state board in school odorless monomer bleh, odorless monomer takes forever to dry because it has oil in it to die down the scent of the monomer so it, you only have a short amount of time to do your nail and it's taking forever to dry so you just like not blowing on nail because that's unsanitary but you just like fanning fanning got your paper towel fanning 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 and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and you have to file it down that takes a minute and then all of a sudden time's up but like the day or two before that i had actually did it like real good and i was so sh so shocked with myself but on the day of the little mock state board I didn't do it so well it was because my buffer three-way buffer it kept on putting black stuff on my nail so I had to keep on filing it off and then I didn't feel like it looked smooth or shiny so I don't think I did too awesome on that but I do know for my nail exam the written part I do know I did good on that one because that one was actually a study guide was actually on or on, on uh, a study guide for that was actually online for us to study unlike the skin one where there was no study guide and she never put one up even though we told her there was none but yeah that was skin and nails for that semester now i'm on some i'm like super excited now because today i started hair cutting hair styling class and then then we have a practicum class but i didn't get to meet that teacher because again it was solar eclipse days so i think i'm done with this video you guys so if you liked it please thumbs up also be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or just want to comment you know and remember to subscribe to my channel push that subscribe button and press the bell for notifications that's what it, that's what you do when you press the bell you get notifications i think so so Press the bell if you want notifications. I have myself close to the camera. And also, you guys, remember to follow me on my social platforms. I'm Queen Nikayla on all social platforms. And remember to always protect your crown. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.